guy was somebody who as a young person um, was kind of heralded as somebody with a lot of promise. Like I got into all these great colleges. I got to go to a great college. I got into a great law school. I, you know, I could get the good job. I could do all these things. And people were always like, I felt this, I shouldered this sense of pressure and expectation that I would be this certain kind of person. And I was investing a lot of time and energy, all of my time and energy in trying to live up to that. And what I wasn't aware of at the time and what a ton of therapy and sobriety have, have showed me is that, you know, I was trying to force this round peg into a square hole for most of my life because I never took, took the time to stop and say, well, let's get off this, you know, train to the American dream and, and really reflect on, you know, who you are and, and what do you want to express in your life? Like that was just never part of the conversation or the equation for me. And I think on some level, like, I don't know why I'm an alcoholic. I just know that I am, but I have, I, I have to imagine that, that that kind of dissonance contributed to a lot of my drinking and using because I had so much discomfort about how I was living my life. And that was a way to like numb or ease that pain.